Tips for creating a good job description. I'm asked pretty frequently what my opinion is on how to write a good job posting. So here we go. I have a list of things that I think will serve you well. Do not use anonymous or confidential as the company name if you can avoid it at all. It's the number one tip I give people. You will get less response on the posting, I guarantee it. Here's why. We just simply live in a research-driven world now where a candidate is going to want to look up a lot of things about a company before they apply. People rarely go to the car wash at this point without looking it up online to see what the reviews are and how it works, all that. It's the same thing for a career move, obviously. So if it's something that you could equate to almost a matter of life and death, give it a shot. But again, I don't think you'll get the response because a great candidate's going to want to know who's going to see that resume or portfolio before they send it to you. I don't recommend that you overwrite your job descriptions either. Think of something the size of a Word document or less and think of the format. Lots of bullet points broken up into short paragraphs. You want something that's easy to read. Think about what you want to see in a resume. You want something short and concise, easy to read, not too wordy, not a lot of extra stuff you don't really need to see. It's the same way for writing a good job description. The flow of a good job description for a job posting, in my opinion, should go like this. Start off with the details of the job itself, then move on to the requirements from the candidate, and then move on to the information about your company. It's a very nice flow to the order of a job posting. Job description, requirements, blurb about your company. When it comes to a blurb about your company and including it in your job posting, in my opinion, it is an absolute must. A candidate's going to want to know a lot about why it's great to work at your company. And it's your responsibility as the hiring company to be able to say why it's great to work there. So it may take 10 or 15 minutes of your time, but I really recommend you take that time and write up a one paragraph blurb. Here's our company, here's what we do, here's why it's great to work here. Be enthusiastic, be excited, let it come through in your words. A great candidate's going to want to see that. I also recommend you avoid words like rock star, ninja, badass, and stud. They are overplayed, they're done, it was so 2000. You want to stick to the normal adjectives that skew a little bit more professional. Now, granted, you might want someone that you consider a rock star, that's fine, but it's going to be a little bit of a turn off to the rock star candidates to see you actually say rock star. So you can stick to things like great, motivated, regular adjectives like that. In my opinion, you can still throw an awesome in here and there, that straddles the balance quite nicely, but again, avoid those overused words of the late 90s and early 2000s.